Hi, YouTubers. Dave out Western PA, USA, and I'm a chem professor with the University of Western Pennsylvania. My area of research is synthetic fuels and lubricants, small engines, two and four stroke. Here we have a four stroke Chinese made Honda clone, overhead valves, 79cc inexpensive engines that I get from Harbor Freight for about $100 and I do preliminary fuel formulation tests. Okay here in this formula the engine uh, wants uh, it's high compression modern engine wants 87 octane and uh, does not want according to the manufacturer E85 too much uh, ethanol. What I'm working on is how much butyl alcohol I can use without having problems with water and sludge build up in the carburetor bowl. Now I'm using secondary butanol alcohol. Sec butyl alcohol. 2 butanol which is far less soluble in water than ethanol. So I'm hoping that I will have carburetor problems in a much less, uh, much greater amount of time. Because any small engine mechanic will tell you ethanol is bad with small engines. In this formula, I'm running at full throttle right now and the engine is purring. I've got 50% isomerate from the local refinery and that has an octane, and a research octane number of 70. It's paraffin with no aromatic content, and uh, that is what's used as a base for gasoline formulation. So with uh, volume percents, I have 50% isomerate. I have 25% secondary butanol. I have 15% alpha pinene, freshly distilled from turpentine, gum spirits, and 10% isooctane, which is a trimethylated pentane, and that has an octane rating, a standard of 100. The sec butyl alcohol, according to the literature, has a research octane number of about 105, and the alpha pinene, I am going to have to look that one up, but I can tell you I have made the methyl ether derivative from a 1940 U.S. patent. I've reacted alpha pinene with methanol and sulfuric acid, and the derived terpenol methyl ether I know has a research octane number of about 112 because the local refinery tested it for me and determined it with great accuracy and precision. So the alpha pinene having uh, being an alkene, a diene, should have a research octane number over 100. The formula is running very, very well. And DuPont just recently got a 2015 U.S. patent for converting one butyl alcohol into isooctanes, which are catalytically reduced to isooctane. And uh, that could prove to be a very valuable patent. So anyway, I'll let you listen to this formulation. We're at full throttle. The governor is not moving. And I will tell you, when I try to go to 70% isomerate, that governor is not steady at full throttle. Now the question is, we're in the low 80s today, relatively low humidity, low wind speed, maybe 10 miles an hour at best. We're in the low 80s uh, degrees Fahrenheit. The question is, will this formula hold up when it's 35 below Fahrenheit? Time will tell. After about 20 or 30 hours, I'll tear down the engine, and I'm interested in looking into that carburetor bowl and see if I'm getting any sludge. 
and I'll be checking the spark plug periodically and keep you informed. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.